Hello, welcome to JNotes. I'm Jansi, crochet maker and designer. If you are the one who is looking for some constructive content and crochet creations, then this space is for you. Please subscribe to my channel JNotes underscore JK. Like, share my videos. Leave your comments below and turn on the notification to not miss any of the future videos. Hello, welcome to Jane Watch and Hamsi Crochet Maker and Designer. Today is day 16 of the 30 day video challenge and I really didn't know how these 16 days have passed. When I started this uh, journey, I was not at all confident that I could make you know, a video every day. But today I am really happy that uh, I could make videos day after day with some real good content. Every day when I think of what to make for today, only thing that that I keep in my mind is that this video should be useful for at least one person who watches this uh, video. So I hope at least it would have uh, uh, been useful to one person, one one person. Um, so so th that is what I would be trying to do even uh, with my upcoming uh, videos. This is giving me kind of you know self satisfaction feeling, making me feel nice and good about myself that I'm able to share my knowledge to many people around. So yeah, that's uh, about uh, this 30 day video challenge and uh, let's see what is there in store uh, for today's video. You know I'm a kind of person who would like to reuse, recycle, and recreate things and or use one particular thing in many different ways uh, uh, based on necessity, based on interest uh, so that all this uh, this uh, way of using things, reusing things or uh, recreating things has been my interest you know from the from the childhood so yeah today is also one such uh, thing we are going to use a uh, one small round motive can be used in many different ways. So we, I will try and show you how many, how, what are the different ways that this uh, very simple and uh, nice cute little wood can be used. This is really a uh, pretty, pretty one. Even just as such, it is a really a uh, very pretty one. And this is one of my favorite motifs. So one of my favorite motifs. So let's go and check out what it is and how are we going to make use of it in many different ways. So let's get started with the working with the motif. For this book all that we need is cotton yarn. Uh, I have taken cotton yarn because whatever I'm going to, whatever the variations that I'm going to show uh, today are such that it would be good uh, when we use a cotton yarn. You can use acrylics also based on the projects that you are using. If at all you are making the afghan then it is good if you can take uh, acrylics or wool whatever. Uh, so for, for the kind of variations that I am going to show to you today, I am using a cotton yarn and for this uh, particular yarn I am using 2mm crochet hook and uh, some hair clips, rubber bands, pair of scissors. So let's get started. Make a slip knot, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and slip into the very first chain. Okay, chain 3 and make 18 triple crochet. Triple crochet is nothing but Yarn over twice over the hook, insert the hook into the ring, pick up the loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over pull through other two and yarn over and pull through last two loops. Okay, one more time. So yarn over twice over the hook, insert the hook into the ring, pick up the loop, yarn over pull through two loops. You are now pull through other two loops, you are now and pull through last two loops. This makes our triple crochet stitch. So we have made two, two triple crochet stitch 
the chain 3 doesn't count as a stitch here so we have uh, two triple crochet so we total we are supposed to make 18 triple crochet stitches slip stitch into the very first triple crochet stitch this is of it so chain two now and in this round we are going to make double crochet decrease which is nothing but two double crochet together across two across two stitches so this is chain three and make a double crochet into the next stitch Make one double crochet into the next stitch. So next is the double crochet decrease, which is nothing but yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pick up the loop, yarn over, pull through both the loops. Just hold these other two loops on the hook right there. Again yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch pick up the loop yarn over pull through only two loops now we have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the three loops this makes so these two we have made two stitches with only one uh, top so with that is why we say two double crochet together so yeah this we are going to continue so uh, so far it makes like uh, we have made two decrease stitches which is nothing but two double crochet together stitches so one and two Since we had made 18 triple crochet stitches, we will have uh, 8 uh, double crochet together stitches. So at this point, I would like to add uh, the rubber band into this to make uh, oh, just like this.
finished all the stitches in the previous row and now we have come to the end of the row and now we are going to make a slip knot into the very first double crochet that we have made and uh, this way this uh, band gets secured into the work if you if we wouldn't have uh, added the rubber band into this this would have been a normal plain simple motif just like that simply tie this off and snip it off just like that So this becomes our rubber band. If you if if we haven't added this rubber band here, it would have been just a simple plain uh, motif. Uh, let me show you, just like this. You know, for in this case, I've uh, used uh, double triple crochet. That's why the motif is looking, uh, slightly bigger than this. But I've uh, liked uh, the smaller one than the bigger one but it depends upon the project uh, where we would want to use and if at all we are using the thicker yarn we uh, we can always uh, make double triple it will look good uh, because of uh, the volume of the thread or thickness of the thread so yeah and without a band it would look like this this can be you can use this uh, just like a flower or ha adding some stop beneath or um, you can uh, sew it up with some beads and uh, make a danglers if you can make multiple of these and uh, sew it up with some beads and all so you can make a nice dangler if you can hook your uh, your uh, your drop hook then this can become a nice uh, very pretty you know your drop with some uh, dangles underneath it would uh, work great even for the uh, your drops so let us uh, see how we would make um, I'll show you with the different colored yeah, maybe this. Um, for the hair just make continue to make I'll finish the motif and show you two, three four sorry slip knotting into the very first chain so i'll finish the motif and show you how to make um, um, what is this, a tiny twist that we need to do to make uh, to use this more particular uh, motif for a hair clip so we are making the second round of the motif which is a double crochet decrease i've almost come to the end i'm just left with the uh, Two more stitches in this. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first. Double crochet stitch. So in the previous case, uh, we have added the rubber band while making the double crochet decrease. Here we didn't add any more no, rubber band. So this is how the plain motif will look like. Yeah. Like uh, this motif can be used even as a button or a decorative uh, uh, flower. Or, uh, you can just work around this and make a you know different mode as a uh, 
center for any other bigger motifs it would uh, it will look very pretty and nice so we have uh, closed the round now just chain three and yarn over and make a double crochet into the same uh, stitch that we have uh, slip stitch into so i'm just going into the same stitch see in the same stitch where we have slip stitched and this the uh, chain 3 is coming up so th in this is the stitch that this chain 3 is coming up i'm going to double crochet into the same stitch through two loops and pull through two loops and join this on the other end maybe you can just simply i measure and take any of the stitches that goes across and just a make and just makes a loop over there tail and the and the both the tails together just like that secure it for this you may not need to you know seam in the ends if you can tie it off properly and snip it off that should good do for this so now i'm going to take this clip and the loop that we have just made across at the end see this one so, yeah. and this try and insert the upper part of the clip into that loop so, gently can do with this next is all up to your imagination what so this is how the clips you can actually add two together also This is a bigger motif that I made, so it's just looking slightly uneven. But if you make the same size ones, it will look great uh, even like this. So this you can do the is you can do the same for uh, even if you don't have this uh, claw pins, you can use uh, the normal tic tac pins also. It will uh, be it will look nice even. If the tic tac pins it is not necessary that you should have the claw pins only yeah if you can add if you add a brooch pin to this the similar way like how we added this uh, uh, attached this uh, claw pin you can use this even as a brooch with some tiny you know embellishment at the center or from the sides you know to enhance the look and you know? all so it will work great even for the brooch so yeah this is hair uh, clips hair bands i've uh, told about because uh, i'm not at uh, my craft room i'm not able to show you all other variations of uh, what and where you can use it but i'm just overly telling you you can use this as a ear drop you can hang your uh, your your drop uh, hook here and um, this works as a your drop you can make uh, many of these group of this and beat uh, beat them together to make a nice dangler or a chart it will look 
really nice and um, we can attach all of this together like this and make a small uh, coaster if you can make a bigger ones then it can become a nice hot pad if you can if you continue attaching them together uh, then it can be a nice um, table runner or afghan so i'll just show you attaching the other as usual i have attached uh, i made the center piece i'm i'm going to attach the uh, two more left i've just uh, attached four of them i have to go and attach the two oh with two more motifs to form a circle one two three four Circle, chain three, triple four, triple crochet. We are earning over twice and two pull through, two pull through, two. We are over twice. Pull up a loop, pull through, two pull through, two pull through. to this so since we have 18 stitches we are leaving a gap of 3 stitches so i have attached this one here i would leave uh, two gaps like two more stitches to this so here i have attached one in this so one two and going to the third one but not on the top but underneath so that the work looks neat and clean you can just randomly find a loop underneath that uh, third stitch and slip stitch into that once again and slip stitching into that one just like this continue making i just made four and i slip stitch into the center motif again make three more uh, attach into the uh, side motif so in the red one so here I have attached one I'll skip one two and I'll go into the third stitch and find a loop beneath that loop and make a slip, no, slip stitch sorry so how many have uh, triple crochets have we finished one two three four five six seven are done so Nine more to eight, nine, ten, eleven. Slip stitch into the very first triple crochet, chain two 
and make a double crochet into the next stitch now we are, this round we are going to make oh, make uh, double crochet decreases so yeah just hold it like this yarn over insert the hook into the next uh, next stitch yarn over pull through two loops hold the next two loops on the hook right there and go into the next yarn over and go into the next stitch of the loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook this makes one double crochet decrease or uh, two double crochet together so, so I am finished the four stitches in the round so the fifth stitch is where we attach the motifs so yarn over and find the any you no know, loop behind just like that just find that loop to insert and go into the next stitch here so this would be slightly challenging to you know go through but be a little patient and get into any of the loop over there because one will get hidden right after we have attached uh, the motif so yeah next double crochet decrease uh, again we have come to the stitch uh, where we have attached the motif so just find a loop beneath of that particular stitch going to the next stitch which pro which would have got hidden here you know like this so this is you can see this is one and there is one more here which is slightly you know got hidden here you just need to uh, find a way through and one more double crochet decrease just keep on going keep on working uh, double crochet decreases in, in this row stitch into the very first double crochet stitch here this is the first double crochet stitch so we are going to slip stitch into this stitch and just try, uh, pull the yarn tightly so that that slip stitch will get hidden so this is how we will attach the motifs just add one more okay. so we have attached the last one also but while attaching the last one you will have to attach to the three you have, you have to attach this motif three times one to this the next to the uh, one side of uh, uh, the motif and next to the other side of the motif you know that completes uh, the round so you can add a uh, kind of you can keep on uh, adding more to this to make a bigger one uh, like a place mat circle or place mat or uh, as a hot pad or uh, just you can add a uh, normal uh, some tiny embellishments on the edges and use this as a coaster so these are the options that I could make and show you to you today here since I didn't had so many resources this uh, simple little motif and 
this is one of my favorites all time favorites yeah That's it for today's video tutorial and I hope you all enjoyed the, this video as much as I did and uh, I try to bring out uh, as many variations I, as I could think of uh, out of uh, this tiny little uh, uh, motif. It can be so uh, as we have seen it can be used as a hair band, hair clip, uh, ear, it can be used as ear drops, it can be used for bigger projects like organs, it can be used as uh, um, you know, hot pads or table runners, or it can be used as a tassels for uh, uh, your stoles, table runners, blankets, and so on. It can be used as a flower, it can be used as a button, it can be used as um, danglers, it can be used as keychains, uh, charms for uh, your bag. So, but the possibilities of its uses and the variation that it can be used as uh, are like endless it's uh, just that you need to be creative and imaginative to use one tiny little thing it, uh, it just doesn't apply for you know any crochet element it can, it can be applied for anything that uh, you can reuse recreate and recycle uh, many things as per your, your uh, imagination and if you can do so, it really you will uh, feel really good about yourself when you can recreate or uh, recycle things. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, today's uh, video tutorial, and I wish you. I really want you all to try at least uh, some uh, variations that we have done today, and I would uh, like to hear from you if at all you have tried any of uh, these uh, variations of this tiny little project. Also request you to share your reviews and suggestions on my video so that I can improve and uh, do much more uh, better in my future videos. So if you are really impressed about my work and if you want to see more of uh, such works, please like, share my videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get any of the future videos. Yep, that's it for today. See you tomorrow with one more uh, creative and interesting content. Happy Sunday everyone. Have a nice uh, day and bye bye. See you tomorrow.